All right, today we're gonna be going over a new type of analysis that I wanna start doing in a little series. Someone on Twitter actually gave me an idea for it and it is uh, gonna be called Turning Point. And this is gonna go into a deep dive on you know, one or two hills that may have completely shifted the outcome or shifted the momentum during the game and really changed the dynamic of what was going on in that map and allowed one team to win and one team to lose. So today we're gonna to be starting off with probably the biggest hard point of the year, the last one of the entire year. Uh, I caught champs, the hotel hard point between New York and Ultra. Obviously New York is up 3-0 in this situation. So, you know, it, it is looking dire for Toronto if they lose this map. So it's a big, big situation. And what we're gonna be looking at is the P2 and P3 of this map. So we're gonna start off with the rotation to the P2 and we'll see how this was such a big impactful moment uh, for this specific map. We're just coming off of a P1 where, as you can see, Toronto is leading by 20 points and they're gonna capture a little bit more of this P1 time. So we'll play it out here. So New York is on the rotation here. They are basically trying to set up, you know, they, they actually lost a good chunk of time on this first P1. So they're, they're cutting their losses on this last 20 seconds, rotating early as you should. However, Kleenex here, he's going to get a really good timing where he gets through two spa and he's gonna go and try and contest onto this P2. This is a huge gunfight uh, between him and number six here, just because, you know, one-on-one -on -one in a rotation battle, it's it's a huge gunfight because if, if Kleenex can win this, he can finesse and we'll see what happens. He does end up winning it on Skies and this makes it all super fuzzy for New York at the time. Uh, you have number eight and number seven here, they're split off apart and Toronto's coming with some reinforcements on the hill. And New York is there's gonna start spawning out here, Diner, and Toronto's actually gonna spawn out even further behind in Kitchen because P1 spawns are still up. So these these back spawns are, are not open yet. So they're gonna be spawning, you know, in these parallels over here. As you can see, Scrap gets a huge one-on-one -on -one gunfight on the guy's spa, huge one-on-one. -on -one. He's gonna try and take another fight on Kismet. Uh, it's actually not gonna end up in any type of kill, but uh, as you can see in New York, they're spawning out bed here. We're gonna have parallel spawns with this time remaining. And this is a huge, huge rotation. As you can see now, up to 35 plus points for Toronto. If they can, you know, actually hold this down in this P2, it's a huge boost uh, for them. It, you know, if they can get a lockdown, let's say 30 points, that's another, you know, 60 points and a lead with over 200 going into these next couple of hills. And as you can see here, it's a really, weird situation for New York because they're split out two guys in the back and two guys still off of spawn. Uh, Toronto's in a pretty good position now here. They have spa lockdown. They have uh, what they'll have main lockdown here with number three and they have someone in hill and someone actually flanking around towards this white bricks area and uh, gonna try and kill this number five rotator over here. As you can see here, Number four, Kleenex, he actually wins this gunfight on that one rotator. They find the last guy in the back here, so they know everyone else is off spawn. This is the last guy in the back. This is a, a priority kill because if we can kill this guy, it's a setup for us. So as you can see here, Scrap wins that huge gunfight. Now this is the time for Toronto to make a huge gap in this game. They have a full setup main, uh, someone helping him watching his, his, uh, his lobby here. They have two guys on the right side. They're gonna end up shifting because they know people are gonna be spawning uh, towards this side anyway. But you know, 178 to 142, 58 seconds left on this hill. This should be a full 60 or at least a 40 point gimme for P2 here. And we'll keep going on here. As you can see here, Insight locking down this main area at this head glitch. He sees one here. I'm not sure why number two and number four both uh, go and prioritize this right side of the map. They just killed people there. I guess they, they obviously think they're spawning here at Diner, but they aren't. They Once you see Skies here, they're most likely gonna be spawning bed with his team. And, and this is a, a pretty bad mistake out of Toronto because you know, at, at this point, they don't know where the pressure is coming from as a team. So they, they see, Insight sees number six. He ends up getting you know killed by number eight here. So they teamwork him. So the pressure isn't being read uh, at a perfect rate for Toronto. And that completely f screws up their entire setup because now you have four guys pushing through main, pushing through P4, and, and there's only one guy looking at it right now. And he can't do this alone. Scrap is, is alone here. He's gonna get you know completely bombarded. Number two was still looking, I believe, 
towards the satellite area. And now it's a four, four on two, just all you have to do is play trades at this point. Even with Toronto still spawning in the back here, you know, New York has completely done their job here. They have broken the hill. They are starting to break the spawns with number two spawning out. And this is all you could ever want. You know, they were down such a big amount, you know, 30, 40 points. Now they actually break on in. And this is not, you know, this is a winnable game for them now because if they hold this, it's tied. But again, all you have to do is make it mixy from the front here. They're still holding it from the front where the, the two uh, or the Toronto guys are still gonna spawn in the back here. So they're just completely putting the pressure on. And all you had to do at this point from New York was just make it mixy, you know, just keep it going, keep another hill going. And for Toronto at this point, you know, you're just like, oh man, we, we should have had those 30 points. You know, at this point, let's cut our losses. Let's start rotating after, you know, one more hit because we, we, we need to secure one good full hold and we're right back into that position where we're up, you know, 60 points and we're chilling, right? So that's what number one here, Scrap is gonna do. He's gonna early rotate. Yeah, there's actually, you know, a good chunk amount of time left and he's just gonna trust his teammates to try and win those gunfights and make those last, you know, 20 seconds a little bit mixy for New York so that they're still on the back foot going into this P3. However, you know, Tor Toronto ends up getting wiped here, but you know, it's still a good situation they still have one get out they're gonna have another you know good let's say you know 10 point lead going into this p3 and that's still a lead going into a hold so it's still a favorable position for them unfortunately for toronto here with new york winning those fights and starting to push out they're gonna spawn in the back here so it's not the perfect situation that toronto wanted it's gonna be a little scrappy on the rotation you know, no pun intended with Scrap here, but he, he is gonna be holding this down for themselves. They know since they spawn in the back that to, uh, that New York is actually gonna be pushing forward into, you know, P1 area or bedside. And actually, I believe since number two spawned here, they should know that they're pushing and rotating through bedside. And even four should be able to, you know, catch them off guard. Actually, you know what? This is a, a pretty, you know, this is a pretty important moment here. Number five is actually going to get, you know, killed here from Hixie. And that's a huge kill by Hixie, obviously. You know, he probably would have had the trade from inside anyway. But this is, you know, this is a good setup for Toronto going into the rotation. Eight seconds left. However, I, I'm not sure about this play from Kleenex. He's trying to get this kill off of old time. However, in my opinion, I think you should just, you know, you should double back. You should just be trying to flank these guys bed, help your team on the rotation. By killing this guy at old, you're not doing, you know, too much. And, and there's still a chance that you can die off of it. And, you know, that's what happens. He, he actually gets weakened off this kill. He gets the kill and it's it's a good kill, but it, it it's not really that good of a kill because this is what happens. You know, he spawns out, but if you were able to get back and help your teammates in this situation, you know, Priesta makes a good play going through the cat, trying to kill Insight here. He does. And, and now Insight or Kleenex is actually weak. So, Kleenex is weak from that previous gunfight, so that gives Priest an easy, easy kill onto him at P1. And now it's a super sketchy situation for Toronto. The pill is just popping now, and now it's a two, uh, a two on two. So as you can see here before, you know, this is a pretty nice situation. Hixie gets the kill. Now it's, you know, three guys on the rotation. And from this, they even know that they're coming cat. I think in the comms, Scrap comms this, that Kiz dives over. Uh, but you know insight isn't able to react in time and from this it's a two-on-two -two now and For Toronto, this is super important to get the trophies down and as you can see here New York is gonna use their tax to try and break on in and as you can see Kismet and Prisa both throw their tax. They get the nade kill on Hixie. There actually was a trophy thrown I believe yeah from from uh, from scrap here. It's, it's actually in this corner here. So that trophy doesn't uh, actually impede those tax and that is huge because you know that's a free kill for for New York they don't even have to chow Hixie they get the kill off the tax and then they try and trade on in with the last guy on hill scrap is there Priesta gets that kill and then good job by Paco getting this cutoff kill on anyone that might be trying to reinforce the hill or actually it's, it's actually skies but both of them probably teamwork them uh, trying to get reinforcements on the hill trades go down in the hill Kleenex comes out alive But it's already it's already chalk like now you have two guys that are gonna reinforce and trade on in They're gonna be spawning back or a bed and like couches here So they're gonna reinforce quicker than Toronto might be 
they're, they're, yeah, for sure reinforcing quicker than Toronto might be. And again, New York is able to make it super mixy. Two, you know, indisputable holes that should have gone Toronto's way. And now it is a completely broken setup on both the P2 and both and the P3 to get New York back in this game. You know, still trades are going down, but as long as New York keeps that plus one man up setup, it's it's completely it's completely wraps. They can just trade on in and keep soaking this time like they're doing. So at this moment, you know, the these two hills could have been two full on 60s for Ultra to get over 200, let's say 210, maybe 220 points. And that could have been, you know, a really good, you know, let's say at least 30 plus on both hills. In turn, that ends up being a plus 30 on those two hills for New York. And that's, you know, a huge, huge momentum shift from that. Even, you know, you have 20 seconds left. They're, they're going to have soak this scrap time for New York. And New York is actually going to be able to rotate pretty cleanly onto this P4. So it even chains even further past that p3 i'm actually looking for this the first time now i, I was only going to do the p2 and p3 but this rotation is huge out of new york they get uh they get the kill on and number four kleenex and then they start spawning white and bricks and this is an easy setup for them now because they can just try and work towards the back here try and teamwork number three and then they're starting to fight from the you know the more favorable closer spawns and they're gonna have Toronto on this weird setup where they're they're fighting this way and that's that's a good setup if you're already in the hill but if you're not in the hill and these guys are are in the hill and they're fighting this way it, it's pretty hard to like actually you know break on in so we'll just fa fast forward a little bit here yeah as you can see they're spawning bed this is not a situation that you want to be in for for insight he's he's teamwork again he's he's left out alone and now Toronto is just oh wow that's a huge two piece out of kismet he gets a kill on insight here and then he gets another rotator kill on scrap their two ars are down completely broken setup out of toronto and what do you know tie game that's three breaks in a row for new york and a huge momentum shift in this hard point and that's what makes it 4-0 for this for this new york squad going into the last map of the entire cod champs and so I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, analytical breakdown in a hard point rather than a search this time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.